Welcome to ProfessorSavings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Rayford Wong. Today we're going to talk about earnings per share. As an investor, earnings per share research can possibly help you compare two distinct companies. Let's roll. Earnings per share (EPS). Well, this is the monetary value of earnings per each outstanding share of a company's common stock. Let's dive into an example. EPS. Well, how's it calculated? Well, it's simple. Company's profit subtract by company's dividends divided by the number one of shares outstanding. Let's say Naomi has some money to invest. She's deciding between two companies. She's looking at Gens.com, which sells auto online. They have a million dollars in profit minus a hundred thousand dollars in dividends divided by one hundred thousand of outstanding shares. So her EPS is nine dollars. Now let's go to FredFood.com. They have three million dollars in profit. They paid three hundred thousand dollars in dividends and two hundred thousand dollars of outstanding shares. You just simply do the math. Well, if we really do the math here, it's pretty simple. Three million dollars minus three hundred thousand dollars in dividends divided by two hundred thousand outstanding shares. Well, that gives you a total of thirteen fifty EPS. So Fred has a higher EPS, thirteen fifty, compared to Jen's auto of nine dollars. Well, this helps you at least you compare two companies in different sectors, compare ratios. That's it for now. We're keeping it simple. If you'd like to learn more about finance basics, subscribe, comment, and like to our channel now.